But first tonight, grand final celebrations have been marred by the death of a Dragons fan. Police hit him with a baton and used capsicum spray on him at a post-match party. His distraught family says the police action was over the top. A terrible end to what should have been a night of big celebrations. I'm sorry the club's closed. St George League's club is shut down as police try to resuscitate a man they've hit with batons and capsicum spray. Stephen Bosevsky died later in hospital. He was a gentle giant. He wouldn't hurt nobody, man. He was always quiet. He, he never done nothing wrong, nothing wrong. And then all of a sudden now he's gone. Police also sprayed his twin Steve. The younger brother, Tony, was tasered. All these red marks here. Yep. They're, they're, it's all where they pulled the tasers. Their entire family is distraught. It was the eyes in the back of my head. And now I've got no one there to keep, like, to keep an eye on me. Police claim security footage shows the men involved in a brawl. I've seen a few fights in my time and I'd say this was beyond a fight. The brothers disagree. And it all started because they tried to move us on and they, you know, give us a push, we pushed them back and that's it. I don't uh, uh, believe that uh, these two guys were intoxicated. Two security guards were also injured when they were struck by police batons. Police say their investigation will determine whether or not the officers here last night used excessive force. But after viewing his son's body in the morgue, Stephen's father says he has no doubt. They bash him. They bash him. He, he got the brain damage. And the whole bruises all his face. And he he been, he been smashed his uh, right ear. And from the left he bleeding. Tony, do you think the police used excessive force on you? I reckon they did, yeah. And on your brother? Yeah, yeah bloody oath, I reckon they did. The coroner will make the final decision. Daniel Sutton, 10 News. Adam Halls joins us now with a look at the day's sport, and it certainly was an historic win for the Dragons. Yes, Devin, it's been a day of celebration for St George Illawarra fans after a remarkable victory last night. The grand final triumph has been 31 years in the making. That's the last time the Dragons won a premiership, and they did it in style, thrashing the Roosters 32 to 8. The Dragons fans' three decades of waiting can be summed up like this. In the Cogra heartland, the red and white faithful erupted in relief and joy. I want to see my wife and kids till Tuesday! Go, Go to Dragon! In the streets, a dragon's fueled delirium. <laughs> On the field, a trophy to seal the victory. And a chant they'll never tire of. Coach Wayne Bennett usually shows little emotion, says even less. This probably says it all anyway. Yeah! Today the team toured Cogra and Wollongong. Just one thing ringing in their ears. Oh, and the Saints go marching in. For young fans, it's the making of a lifetime's memories, capped off by cheering the team who delivered them. There's no doubt St George has a long and proud history. But this win means so much here in Wollongong because it's the first premiership since St George rose with the Illawarra Steelers in 1999. And with it, the frustration of years of being called chokers finally put to rest. We're going to have chicken and they're going to choke on their lattes. Eddie Meyer, 10 News. But for every winner, there has to be a loser. And today, the Sydney Roosters were left to ponder a crushing end to their fairy tale season. A year is certainly a long time in footy. Todd Carney and Mitchell Pearce have been pivotal in the Roosters' fairy tale rise from Wooden Spooners last season to being there on the biggest day in rugby league in 2010. But someone forgot to tell the Dragons how the last chapter was supposed to read. Some consolation for Carney and Nate Miles. They've been named in the Kangaroo squad for the Four Nations. Fans of the Bondi boys are cock-a-hoop over their team's remarkable turnaround this season. And most, and yes, that includes me, are pretty confident there'll be plenty to crow about in 2011. The diehards also insist there's no monkey starting to climb on the back of the Glamour Club. They've made five grand finals since 2000 for just one success. Some, though, might be guilty of counting their chickens. We're going to win the top next year. Go the Chooks! Go the Chooks! 
For the coach, the Holy Grail remains elusive after four grand final losses. I'm hurting at the same time because it's it's something that I, I certainly want to experience myself. I'll get back on the horse in a few weeks' time and get ready to go again. He's certainly not on his own, hoping the red, white and blues can rule the roost next year. Roosters! Roosters! Frank Coletta, 10 News. Poor old Frank, poor old Roosters, but the Dragons, they definitely deserve it, Deb, and we'll have plenty more in sport. It was a great win, thank you, Adam. The Dragons' dream, now a reality. Ben Hornby and Dean Young today delivering the Illawarra its first ever taste of Premiership success. The latter then selected for the first time in the Kangaroo squad. I'm a bit shocked to be honest. Um, we obviously had a big and long night last night and uh, a bit tired and uh, when I got told uh, certainly uh, straightened me up and uh, I feel very honoured. Young told of his selection by Father Craig, a 20 test Kangaroo hard man who softened up last night. Uh, no one's seen him cry much of you. Yeah, I've seen him cry a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> the shattered roosters went underground today. But Todd Carney's rise continues, picked in the Four Nations squad. However, he'll have to overcome a knee injury. But not necessarily one that would rule him out. Roosters coach Brian Smith remains without a premiership after 26 years of first grade coaching and four grand finals. It's something that I, I certainly want to experience myself. Wayne Bennett hasn't lost a premiership decider in seven attempts, further enhancing his reputation as league's greatest ever coach. I always saw him as somebody special and he's just uh, delivered uh, on every front. Just a footy coach doing the best I can. With Bennett taking this side from chokers to champions in the space of two years, it's mission accomplished as far as his Sydney sojourn is concerned and it has many people believing that he could be set to walk out and return to Queensland. Been a bit of talk, you going back to Brisbane, you give us the scoop? Uh, lots of talk, um, right now I'm just, I uh, want to enjoy the night. Rob Canning, 10 News.